tried selecting a cable gland but got confused by seeing the size chart? Here's a simple process that will save you time in gland selection. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will discuss a solution to a very common issue faced by engineers, the issue of selecting the cable glands from the size chart. Let's start with a very quick understanding of what cable glands are. They are also known as mechanical cable entry devices and they are essential components in any electrical wiring system as they provide a secure and waterproof connection for cables. These glands are designed to fasten and seal the end of an electrical cable to the equipment. Certain types of cable glands also prevent flammable gas entry into equipment used in hazardous areas. Before understanding the size chart, let's quickly go through the different applications of cable glands. There are two major categories of cable glands, metallic and non-metallic. Firstly, metallic glands. These consist of stainless steel and brass glands. They are used in areas with a high demand for chemical and mechanical stability, like chemical industries and technological firms. Secondly, non-metallic cable glands. This category consists mainly of plastic cable glands. They are used in applications that require resistance from salt water, as plastic makes the gland salt water resistant and resistant to weaker acids and grease. These glands are used for data cables, electrical power and telecommunication. They are ideal for flexible cables where high strain relief is required. Access cable glands are available in different colors like red and blue, which means you can also easily color code your plastic cable glands. Finally, let us see how to select a cable gland from the size chart. Note, the cable gland size is based on the nominal dimensions of overall diameter and armor diameter. We will be understanding the selection by referring to this table. Also note, the values in the rows show the cable cross section in millimeter square and those in the column show the number of cores in the cable. So, step one, Select the cable size you have from the values in the rows. Step 2. Find the number of cores in the cable from the columns indicating them. Step 3. Identifying the corresponding cell or box that overlaps the row and the column and that cell will show you the appropriate cable gland size for your requirement. For example, with this chart, for a 25mm square cable with 4 cores, we get the cable gland size to be used as 32. Similarly, for a 35 mm square cable with two cores, the size will be 25 or 32. I hope you now have a clear understanding of selecting cable glands from the size chart. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing all of your electrical systems. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Before you switch to any other video, please make sure that your team knows how to properly install a cable gland, as improper insulation can lead to short circuits and fire. You can learn the proper insulation techniques by watching our video on the BW Brass Cable Gland installation on steel wire armored cables.